Honestly, I'm Nogami, the producer of Splatoon. I'm Amano, one of the game's directors. And I'm the other director, Sakaguchi. Splatoon is an eight-player, four-on-four, online multiplayer action game. It's all about controlling territory. Teams battle to claim their turf by splattering the map with ink, and the team with the most territory, when time runs out, wins. Nogami-san actually came up with the squid idea. One day, out of the blue, he was like, hey, let's make them squids. Rather than designing the characters and then making a game around that, we instead came up with the game first and then created characters we thought would work well with the gameplay. That's actually how Nintendo prefers to approach game design. One day, when Sakaguchi-san and I were hanging out on our day <laughs> off, he said, Hey, what if you're able to switch between being a squid and a person? For example, say you can only shoot ink as a person, but as a squid, you're able to perform a wider range of actions. With that as our main concept, we thought about different ways to expand the gameplay, and the squid idea meshed perfectly. We thought of things like, what if you can swim really fast in your own ink as a squid? Or, what if your feet get stuck when walking through enemy ink? Through this process, we kept expanding the game's features, which brought us to where we're at now, with players able to do things like ink and swim up walls, and swim super fast through their own ink. As a person, your first priority is shooting ink to expand your territory. Once you've done that, You've got more turf to move through as a squid and make use of your squid abilities. When you're using the gamepad, you can quickly look up or tilt your gaze downward to aim. It's really natural and intuitive. I think these controls are a great use of the gamepad's gyro sensor. An overhead view of the entire map is also displayed on the gamepad. And you can check it to see what colors of ink are being splattered where in real time. This really lets you keep an eye on how the battle is unfolding. Normally with shooters, you only get moment-to-moment -moment glimpses of the action. But because of the layering nature of splattering the ground with ink, you can tell by glancing at the map what other players are up to and where they're headed. I think that adds a new layer of strategy to a game like this. Spices it up a bit. The other neat use of the gamepad is making use of your allies' icons displayed on the map. If you tap one of these icons, you'll blast off from your location and land next to them ready to go. This is just one more mechanic that adds a nice twist to the strategy. Your enemies are shooting ink as well. With regular guns, you can't really see bullets flying by. But since this is ink, you'll be able to see it flying from around a corner, and you'll know, whoa, there's a bad guy over there. If you forge forward and ink a path, your allies will be able to use it to follow you, and you'll be able to get to your enemy's territory quicker. But on the other hand, they can just ink over that and ruin your strategy. In this way, splattering ink is both an offensive and a defensive tool. There are a lot of different ways to play depending on your style. Some people like to stay hidden in the ink for a long time and wait for the perfect chance to pop out. Other people just blaze ahead inking a path to try to get as far as they can into enemy territory as fast as they can. There are a lot of different tactics you can employ, but no matter how you play, the ink you're shooting has an effect on everyone else. You'll never feel like you're playing alone or in a vacuum. It's pretty magical, really. Amano-san, you like to try and ambush people, right? Do I? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I play it a bit safer and lay down a lot of ink and make it hard for enemies to advance into my team's territory. I like to stay at home and protect the base. Yeah, that's not my style at all. I'm just plain bad. Yeah, Nogami-san, you're really not very good.